If you're 3D printing gnomes, then you'll want them to be UV resistant, weather resistant, and maybe even FDA food contact compliant. And with Form Futura's Apollo X 3D printer filament, why limit yourself to just printing gnomes? Form Futura have sent a roll of their Apollo X filament for me to review. Apollo X is an ASA filament that stands for Acrylon Nitrile Styrene Acrylate. Similar to ABS, however, Apollo X's filament is UV and weather resistant, is FDA food and drink contact compliant, and probably the best feature is it's warp free. That means easy printing on the build platform. Similar to ABS though, is it needs high printing temperatures, a fairly hot heated bed, but has similar glass transition temperature properties of ABS, that is 98 degrees Celsius. And just taking a closer look at this filament, this is 1.75 millimeters in diameter. They've sent me the color red, and being ASA it should have similar properties to ABS. So if we bend this filament, you'll see it's holding its shape. However, if we bend it back and forth on that same pivot point, it should, over a number of cycles, break away from the rest of the spool. And there it goes, it's starting to weaken. So that's going to give uh, a telltale indication of how this filament is going to react once it's printed in an object. I think the biggest selling point with this Apollo X filament is the fact that they claim it is warp free. One of the biggest concerns with printing an ABS is it's so easy to warp and bow off the print bed and that ruins the print and you have to start again. If you're a design firm or a 3D hub or you produce small production runs for customers, time is money. You can't spend your time redoing prints. That's where a filament like this comes into play. Yes, it's also UV and weather resistant, so that's something that you can also uh, spruik to your potential customers. But also, you can buy this filament not only in these smaller 750 gram spools, but in 2.3 kilos and 4.5 kilogram spools. So here is the Pion 230 quadcopter's top plate printed in Apollo X by Form Futura. And the first thing you'll notice is it hasn't lifted on the corners of the build plate. Unlike ABS, which I've printed in the past many times, struggling to print a part which is flat, quite long, just like this, constantly with the corners lifting up, here, no problem at all. So the Apollo X lives up to its advertised feature of being warp free. Now let's see how easy it is to remove off this print and see build plate. <laughs> awesome. Pull that up now. There it is. Too easy. And just flexing this material. So just like an ABS, it is you know, semi-flexible. And you'll notice on the top surface, it's a little bit rough. I was printing this at uh, quite coarse, 0.25 millimeter layer height, and I only printed two top layers. And at 70 millimeter uh, per second print speed, which is quite fast, uh, so there's some holes in the top which haven't been totally filled over. So to fix that, of course, I would go back into Cura and I would increase the number of top layers from two to probably four. For my next test print, I'll be printing the Rocket Gnome. Here, I've imported the Rocket Gnome as it's been downloaded from Thingiverse. And as you can see, he's lying down on the build platform, but I want him to stand up while printing. 
To do that, I'll left click on him, click on the rotate button, select the respective circle and drag that around until he's upright. There, now he'll be printed standing upright on the build platform. With the size of this gnome, I'll click on him, click on the scale and it'll tell us the current size. Here, the x-axis is 71mm in length, that's across the front here. The y-axis is 66mm, that's uh, front and back. And the height, or the z-axis, is 118mm. For my print settings, I'll be printing this gnome at a 0.25mm layer height. I'll be printing with three perimeters, three top and three bottom layers. As I want this gnome to print hollow, I've set the infill density to 0%. With this Apollo X ASA filament, I'll be printing at 245 degrees Celsius with a heated bed of 90 degrees Celsius. I'll be printing the gnome at 50 millimeters per second. And I'll be enabling the cooling fan and I've set the cooling fan to 35%. And as this Apollo X filament is UV and weather resistant, why not print something that will spend its time outside? So here is the MakerBot Rocket Gnome, printed hollow, three perimeters, 0.25 millimeter layer height, printed successfully with the Apollo X filament, ready to spend his days outside in the garden. While printing with this Apollo X, I did notice an odour coming from the print, which is just like ABS, so ensure you're printing this in a well-ventilated room. Also keep in mind these are 750 gram spools. And lastly, if you've made it this far into the video, you're in for a treat. Form Futura have provided a 15% discount code to be used anywhere on their website, including to purchase Apollo X.